or two, but there's a bowl type atmosphere here at Notre Dame as over 80,000 fans are jam packed. This is Storage Stadium in South Bend, Indiana. Dan Hayden Felt will do the kicking for Nebraska, making his 2000 debut today. He's a sixth year senior. And here we go. David Gibbons on a return for Notre Dame. Gets a hole to the 20, breaking wide to the 30. And he's got down and near the 40 yard line in his second career start. The stakes are raised this afternoon. On the fake, eluding over the middle, and it's oh. nearly picked off incomplete. A conservative approach last week from yeah. Kevin Rogers. Interesting, he's coming out passing right away. This time they give Julius Jones for a couple. The offensive line, the one rookie, the center, Jeff Fain. Other guys, juniors and seniors. The backs and receivers, Arnaz Battle leads the way. Jones getting the start. Lipinski, good solid fullback. Get the ball, Hunter, good speed. Touchdown for Hunter a week ago. Holloway, one of the quad captains, the tight end. Third and seven, Nebraska looking to hold here. Battle nearly picked off by Keo Craver. And a break for the Irish, he knew from his back seat. Former quarterback who can also move. He will take it at the 15, up to the 20. Newcomb cannot avoid Chris Miller. And it's a tough front line. Pat, you talked about it. Yeah, he's the best offensive line in America. Both Bonatti, Raiola, Hochstein, and Schwab. The backs receivers, Crouch leads the way. Willie Miller, good blocking back for Dan Alexander. 200-yard game last week. Newcomb, Davidson, Wistrom, an outstanding tight end who averages 28 yards a catch. Wow. From the 24. Crouch going deep. First play. He's got his man. Bobby Newcomb, the wing back for a big gain up to your quarterback for a couple of games. Makes the big play from Crouch. Alexander finds a hole, left tackle, and a good one for Nebraska. Weaver, Wisney, Legree, and Irons up front. The junior is Weaver, the others are seniors. Boyman, Harrison, Denman. Denman's the leader and linebacker. Williams, Walton, Driver, and Israel. Walton getting his second start at the corner. And up up the middle again, it's Alexander. This offense, you're right, Pat, they are like a machine. Last week scoring in five of their first seven. On the option, rolling, going for the tight end, Wistrom. He was defended well on the play. He takes some shots, bounces right up, and run off 20 yards the next play. Hey, you have to if you're an option quarterback. Wait to the last moment. This time he did to Alexander, and B.J. Scott snuffed it out. Third and 13 at the 31. Fake again, untroubled. Crouch gets away. Here's where he's trouble, but he's packed up. <laughs> Dan Hayden felt. Well, boom it and try and yeah, well, he tried to catch it at the two, but he really yeah. did boom it. Yeah. it. Was not a good offensive series on the first possession for Notre Dame. Option battle will keep. They'll get about three yards in the play at Lincoln to open up the season. Second and six. They gave him four from the 24. Inside handoff. Jones, left tackle, finds a little room. He gets first down yardage. This is more Notre Dame football, too, the run to set up the pass. They're trying to keep the Huskies honest. Battle circling. He can run. Looks oh. over the middle, nearly picked off again. It's second and ten. Whoops. Let's see who jumps. Right. It is... Everything is unconventional about these guys. Second and 15. Battle passing. Over the middle. Tipped yeah. again. And this time it is picked off. Joe Walker's got it. Walker will go down at the 35. Well, Notre Dame felt they could not be as conservative. So first and 10, 35-yard line. Crouch pitching out. The tackle made in the play by Shane Walton. Inflicted wounds, no self-inflicted wounds, holding on Nebraska. That'll help the Irish cause. Nebraska coming off a 49-13 win over San Jose State. Again, they did not play well defensively. Option, Crouch. This time pitching. But Halter getting outside. Picked up about five yards of it up there. Yep.
second and 13, 38 yard line. Crowd's going for the bomb way over Davison's head, who was cutting inside. Shane Walton was on the coverage. They feel like they have to force the issue. Third and 13. And Nebraska likes to screen it here. Crowd's way back to pass. Sets up the screen. Got Buckhalter to the 30. They stopped him short of first down yardage. Galladay near side tight end. Wistrom the far side tight end. Fourth and four. Remember the speed of Crouch. Straight up the middle. Nope. Crouch is hanging on. Crouch has got it. And Notre Dame can't get him. Right near the line. It's going to be close. No, I think he's short. I think he's about a yard short. At their 26, it's first and 10. Battle on the give. Tony Fisher is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> it's his first... Uh, Here's a starter. Second and 11, 25. Arnaz keeping. He's squeaky, too. He's tough to bring down, but he will favor today and probably would have been a better player. What a way to remember your young brother. Pass to Gibbons. A good one from Battle. His first completion. It's a first down. A 21-yard catch rather last week, helping out the Irish cause in the comeback win against AM. Battle on the option again. He's going to keep. Stopped up around the 40-yard line by a host. Second and eight from the 40-yard line. Single setback. It's Fisher. He's got it at the 40. Up near the 45. Joe Walker knocked him out of bounds. The 45-yard line. Split backs. Lipinski and Fisher. Battle's going to pass. Robbing one nicely, but Fisher diving. It's just beyond him. They just get the snap off. It's a boomer. Walker's going to let it go and hope to take a Husker bounce, but it doesn't. Punch. It's oh. an Irish bounce. And the mystique alive for at least a play here. Well, Notre Dame has played well defensively in the first two series. Couch the handoff. It's Alexander. Only a yard of the average over eight yards, and Alexander had a 208-yard day. Alexander again. Just a couple of the right tackle, and again, Anthony Denman will be on third and six. Slotted back. Crouch looking Davison's way. Deflected at the line. It's incomplete. And it was Grant Irons, I think, who got his hand on it. Husker. Julius Jones will get it at the 50-yard line. Got some room on the sideline. 40. Knocked down at the 35-yard line. Talking about how special it was when they got their black shirt for the very first time. Well, right now, the black shirts for the rest of the oh, have to come up big. What a Steven catch. Hunter made the catch from Ornette's battle. The pump fake, but Sweeney was not fooled. Great adjustment by Hunter. It looks like it's a penalty. It's going to come back, but nonetheless, great adjustment and in, uh, in, in catch Holy. by Javen Hunter. Holding against the Irish. Yards, the the Irish got to feel good for battle, even though they lost the 10 to make the completion. He's gaining confidence, and here he goes again. Battle to the 40. She can make 35. Randy Stella knocked him down. And so far, trying to overcome that early interception. The defense did the job. No points on the board for Nebraska. Way back. Trying to find Terrence Howard there. In a, here on third and 11 of the 36. And, and there is some confusion. Trips to the left. Twins to the right for Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. Battle. Well, he faked the throw. Gets away. No, what are they going to say? He there was movement. Yeah. Fire yeah. snap. Oh, okay, false start offense. We play the down. Five-yard penalty. Third before the Six, four, two, sixty. And he can move, too. So, third and 16 from the 41. Battle spinning. Stella trying to run him down. Lofting wide open receiver. Get the wall, but he actually was right on the line. And it is incomplete. Again, back deep at about the nine. Bill Bolt. Walker was calling for the fair catch. The ball bounces to around the 17. Nebraska will take. But so far, the will has been coming from the Irish on Nebraska with just 62 total yards. Here's some yardage. Buckhalter. Buckhalter is 3 for 15. He's got Judd Davies, the fullback, who will take the hand up and rumble over the 30. Over the 35, Judd Davies, the fullback freshman. And you never quite know. It's a little bit of illusion. Will keep. Crouch, you can see a motor. Look at him go. 50. Crouch breaking free. Crouch to the 20. Walton tries to catch him. He won't be able to do it. No 
No flag, 62-yard touchdown for Eric Crouch. He gets to the game as well. Personal foul. Oh, personal foul. Yep. Yeah. Now that'll be on the kickoff, I believe. That, that's, a, that's a bad penalty. <laughs> It's good. A career long touchdown for that man, Eric Crouch. You know, Eric Crouch is going to get a, you know, a lot of pats on the back for this run, and it was an, indeed a good one. Dan Hayden Felder did the running, will do the kickoff tours as well. Gibbons is going to take it from a couple deep up to the 10. Wide to the, about the 18-yard line, John Gibson made the stop. He says he's capable of doing it. We need some of them in this game. Gibbons in motion. Lipinski, the fullback in front of Jones, who has the ball. Lost the 20, 22-yard line, second and six. Jones, there's a bit of a spurt for Notre Julius Jones. Jones. Notre Dame knew Nebraska was going to score a few. Let's see if they get their offense going when we come back. For the second quarter, it is Nebraska, thanks to Eric Crouch, leading Notre Dame 7 0. We'll be right back after these words from your local station. They have to do two things. You know, one, to get Arnez Battle on the perimeter, but they have to cause fumbles on defense and turnovers. And up the first up the middle. Lipinski, but they saw the skill of Crouch all along. So did Bob Davey. Julius Jones getting some yardage across the 35. 11 starters from the state of Nebraska. It's amazing when you look at their roster, how many there. Second and six. Not much happening for Lipinski up the middle. For Nebraska, I think you got to watch out for Arnett's battle on the quarterback draw here. Third and six. Battle. Trying to break outside. Got good speed. Gets to the 40. First down battle. Near the 50-yard line, and this time there are no flags. Arnez contemplated going to Notre Dame, but he grew up watching people like the Rocket, Jerome Bettis, and he loved the tradition and the academic part of Notre Dame. That's why he came here. He's Jones on the inside handoff. Tries for the home run. He'll take the single, and a flag thrown might have been on the hit. Got to hit him. First to foul, 15-yard face mask. Face mask. At the 25. A junior from Shreveport, Louisiana. Handoff. Jones breaks one tackle. Gets a couple of yards. 3.8 in finance. He's got brains and brawn. Second and nine from the 24. Oh, nice face. Battle. Deep in to the 20. Nebraska didn't pick it up at the 10. Down to the six-yard line. Hugh Flavor made the stop on a terrific fake. Junior will back him up left guard number 79. Most of the rushing yards from the quarterbacks. 59 from Crouch. 52 for Battle. First and goal from the five. The gift to Jones. Up the middle for maybe a yard or two. Yeah, somebody moved. Somebody moved. We have a flag. And Outside. Outside. Nebraska. You know, the power eye formation. Now Jason Murray slotting to the right. That's a penalty there, isn't it? Yeah, Nebraska was off. Handoff. Touch. Touchdown! There is a flag down, but obviously it's going to be on Nebraska. Tony Fisher moves in for Notre Dame for the starting job in the fall camp. He's got it. The Fighting Irish have tied the game up. A classy-looking drive. All rushes capped off. 82-yard drive capped off by Fisher, and Notre Dame is tied up the Huskers. We'll be back in just a moment. Matt McNew, great soccer player here. On the kick, he can boom him. This one, though, will go out of bounds. He's got Miller and Alexander, eye formation. Davison is the wide out, moving to the left. Crouch will hang on. Man, is he quick. Over the 40, good pickup in one corner. They went three different ways. Yep, caught one, threw one, ran one. Hand off first down, Miller, the fullback. First and ten. Ball on the Nebraska side of the 49. Crouch giving near side. It's Newcomb. He's a threat as well. Gets across the 50. You think of Rodgers, especially in this matchup. Last time they played, Rodgers was a big man. Miller with picking up six. Kimberly. Oh, well. First and 10 at the 40. A couple of yards pickup for Dan Alexander. 
He's the 48th all-time leading rusher in his career. He averaged over five yards a carry. But that certainly was the highlight day. He got almost 20% of his yards in the one day. On the option, Crouch gave to Alexander. Nebraska 0 for 3 on third down in this game. Crouch rolling to the left. Has the option. Will throw over the middle. A little floater, but it's caught by Davison. It's a first down on the geometry. Matt says he's not the fastest and most, most athletic, but he needs to use the head games to help out. Crouch on the keeper. Rolling across the 20-yard line. Tackle. How about this lineup? You got 590 pounds of fullback leading Dan Alexander. And Alexander getting to the 15 with Davies and Miller. Newcomb and Davison are wide left. The twins are to the left eye formation. Crouch on the option. He'll keep. Now pitches last moment. Fumble. Crouch going after it. Yep. Of Nebraska. They went 62 yards in the last one. Miller in front of Alexander. Crouch pitch option. He'll keep to the 10. Look oh. at the vision he has to the Irish now you think hey first things first let's stop Crouch he, let's stop Crouch he likes to keep the ball inside the 10 and he's had just 16 career starts Crouch will keep he's not going anywhere yeah, it's Harrison second and goal from the fourth for a three and a half hour football game right 13th play of this drive Crouch on the option again Bowman tried to pull him down, but he held him up enough for the tackle. Twelve of them have been runs. And again, this is where Crouch is most dangerous, but Notre Dame has done a good job thus far on this drive down here with him. Miller, the fullback, gets the handoff. Oh, boy, great change of place. Right near the goal line. Believes his offensive line can get that much yardage. They are two feet shy. Crouch, keeper, touchdown. The plane of the end zone starts at the beginning, the very beginning, the white of the white uh, paint. So you don't have to actually right. go all the way across this. On the extra point. Eric Crouch on the keeper. And again, that great guile and gutsy effort to get it across. A long drive capped off, and the Huskers are back up by seven again. They don't have a bad day when they don't run the ball as much. No. Unless you put Crisco on that ball, that's about it. Julius Jones will take it at the five. Oh, got some. Got some room. 20. Breaking wide. 30-yard line Jones. 40-yard line Jones. And he's near midfield. And there's a bit of a home run. Give him a triple for that one. First and goal right at midfield. 2-11 left in the half. The one gross had a shot at him, too. Yeah. Auction to Fisher at the 50. Near the 45, he was pushed out by Scott Shanley, battling the shotgun. Thinking about running, a nice spin move, he's going to take off. If he can get around the defender, Joe Walker came up beautifully. Third and six. Three for six, third down so far. Got a screen out there. Oh, he threw it a little high for Fisher. Back to receive. Booming punt. This one is going to carry way too far into the... And we've seen that Nebraska score quickly, and we've seen them have a methodical score. 124 remaining here in the half. They have one timeout. Crouch giving safety to Alexander. And the big back. Are you surprised they're taking their time? Second and six, the ball deep. I guess they want to play conservatively. As Crouch can get loose. No, I'm not. They're going to just use the clock. Yeah, I think I'm conservative. On. Nebraska certainly earned their last touchdown in that long 14-play drive, but they needed a fourth and goal to do it. Crouch back. He's going to throw it out with the clock running down final moments, and he throws it out of bounds, and that will do it for the first half of play. And he's thinking, what the heck? Let me try one and see if we can fool him with Davison going wrong. So Eric Crouch with a couple of touchdowns, 89 yards rushing in the first half. The story for Nebraska, the Irish hanging in. Battle leading a drive. And they're going to have to do it again without Grant Irons. who went out with the dislocated shoulder in the second quarter. Matt McNeer on the kick. Again goes out of bounds. Did not want that to happen. They start at the 35 thanks to the kick. Out of bounds in the power eye in motion is the big fullback Judd Davies. And up right up the middle to about a yard. Miller and Alexander in the eye formation. Twins to the left for Nebraska. Bounce on the option. He'll go to Alexander. 35. He's tripped up. Good defensive play, Ron Israel. Uh, this is a guy that, that's uh, can you option, Newcomb. Can yeah. you option third and seven still? Or you pass it. Crouch. 
Trying to turn the corner and pass it. He turns the corner. Oh, Boyman got him again. Rocky Boyman showing his speed despite being 6'4", 239. <laughs> That's play two. Yeah, you're right. Well, I bet you Crouch thought he could outrun the big linebacker, though. That did not work out that time. Fair catch. Julius Jones. Drive brought him within seven. Battle. Quick handoff to Julius Jones. For a few, Jones uh, had some pressure coming off the five and seven season, losing four straight that last year. But the good win last week has the Irish feeling pretty good about things. Jones, he's wrapped up by Vandenbosch. Notre Dame is three for seven on third down, and here's third and eight. Shotgun battle. Oh, oh he's tickling the outside fumble. Nebraska recovering. Stella on the hit. And I think Notre Dame recovered. Gets it off, Joe Walker coming up the field. Well, Newcomb lost the ball, went off Walker's hands right to him. Uh, Husker bounced, another by the ball, thrown <laughs> backward it appeared. It was two different fumbles it looked like. Their second possession of the half, first and ten. Good field position at the 41 after the ball bounced around pinball style. And Alexander, again, a receiver to the right. Unusual formation, more of a typical football formation here from Notre Dame. But here's the option. Whistle the play dead on in distances for this Nebraska team by Warren Buffett. Wow. Second and 14. And he returned the favor too, did he not? <laughs> yes. Oh, big hole there. Buckhalter oh. over midfield. He ran into Tony Driver, 590 pounds of fullback in the eye formation. Davies in motion to the left. Crouch hanging on. Good fake to Miller. Wide open near side. Wistrom at the 30. The tight end with his first catch. Well, if you're linebacker, too, believe me, you're worrying about that halfback and fullback. First and 10. 28 yard line. This running gives up to Alexander. Running left. Up to the 10. Walton trying to catch him. Can't do it. Touchdown. Dan Alexander, a 28 yard touchdown run. Extra point. Josh Brown is good. So Nebraska has three touchdowns on four possessions now. Alexander had just 29 yards his first 11 carries, but this one, the biggie, the home run he was looking for, 28 yarder for a 21-7 Husker lead. Record four touchdowns, and then Tom Osborne took over, and what a run he had until Frank Solich the last three years for Nebraska. Here's Jones on a run. Jones to the 30. He may go. 40. By the kick of 50. Jones to the 20. A 100 yard return. No flags. had more return yards in one season than Julius Jones. Set his extra point is good. It's a seven-point game again. They love his hang time. He also had three touchbacks last week, but he's been knocking him out of bounds today. Walker at the one. Oh, my. Walker trying to find some room. Gets through the 20 to about the 23. The pancake there, huh? Oh. Eric Crouch. Good to the eye back. Alexander, and look at the, we talked earlier today, pretty, pretty host on, he has really been out in front. A Nebraska boy who said he would be the water boy in this team, that's yeah. what it means to him to play. Big third and one, Nebraska one for seven on third downs. Crouch get big hole there, first down, and more. Buckhalter getting the yardage. They could have ruined this team. Mm. He had the, the job he always dreamed about. And then Solich made the switch third game last year. They're looking for Davison passing. Davison's open, 45-yard line. Well thrown. It's very hard to defend them when they play action. There's Crouch right up the gut. The Miller leading Buckhalter in the eye formation. It's Davison in motion to the left. There are tight ends as well. Crouch option. He'll give it back to Buckhalter. Defense there still squeaks through for a couple of yards on the second and eight. Third and seven. Two for eight on third down. Swings to the right, option crouch. He gives a late one, blocker in front of Alexander. Oh, Alexander man. with a tough hit. Oh, Denman. Anthony Denman. Last time they ran a sneak in this situation. Let's see how they do the conflict here. Fourth down, 
over the top is Alexander. He's got it. And he's going to pick up the first down. To Wistrom on the far side. Power eye. Option. Yep. And look at that. Fake the pass. Now throws it. Picked off. Off the hands of Davey. Shane Walton. And the power eye. Play action. So a big one for the Irish. They battled back. It was 21-7 not too long ago. They got the good kickoff return. Unbelievable one. And now they get the turnover. Fisher on the option. Not much to him. Couple of yards. Dad's a construction worker. Mom a real estate agent. And he is a good student as well. Battle throwing. Hot away the tight end. And he nearly broke free. Of Joe Walker. It's a big gainer for battle of the Irish. Arnaz with just his second completion. Takes the handoff. He's keeping. And well played, and it was Lauren Kaiser. Not quite as strong last week. They're hoping as the week's going, he'll get stronger and stronger. Second and eight at the 46. Battle, play action. Fisher's got a man wide open. And it's oh, boy, good knocked boy. away. Incomplete Gatherall. Did a great play on it, but he did have Holloway for first down. Third and eight. Irish three out of eight on third down. Some pressure. Battle getting away. Throwing a little strong. Holloway one-handed. Joe Walker is back at the eight-yard line. Walker angles to the 15. And he's just going to take a little pick up there. It, it, you know, it looked like he had a fair catch. Yeah. It looked like he put his right hand up. Uh, oh, wait for dinner, huh? Invalid fair catch signal. Return the ball. Five-yard penalty. First down. Notre Dame came back on the return. Now, Nebraska will start at the 10 after the delay of game penalty for the uh, false fair catch. And up a dead man, a collision. They uh, lose one of their eye backs, the other guy gets so much playing time. Does take away a little bit from giving a rest or a spot. Crouch has got some room here. 15. Oh, wait, pitch a beauty to Alexander. Pass the 20. You know you're going to take the bump because yeah. everybody's playing you as the runner. High formation, first and 10, 24 yard line. Alexander again over the 30. Well, it is this time of year because it's a red eye there and back. Everybody wants to go in the sprint. Hand off for a couple of yards, but they're having success too fast. Recruit. So Frank Solich and his number one Cornhuskers are in a tussle. But they lead 21 to 14 after three quarters, and we'll be right back after these words from your local station. Third down. Crowds will keep. That worked on the touchdown earlier. That'll work. For the first down right here. He does it all. He's just a junior, too. From Omaha, Nebraska. And off to Buffalo for a yard or two. Other areas might not think of that as a larger city, but it is a little bit larger and more metropolitan than South Bend. And of course, he plays now in Lincoln, a smaller town. But home for him. It's running the option a little more difficult from a Husker standpoint because you need a lot of yards to get the first down. Third and short, you can go either way. Crouch looking, throwing right. Davison, no, nearly picked off, but well played by Brock Williams. The credits Brock's parents, very strong for the support. And he's become a good player again in his senior year. So again, Gethrall all is back. Never takes the fair catch, finds the seam, 30. 40 yard line, Gethrall, 50, fakes the kicker. He's going to the 40, he may go. Touchdown. No flags again. It's good. 183 yards in returns this half by Notre Dame. And got them tied with the number one team in the country. Pick off Walker in a tie game. Two yards deep will take it out. Try one return of his own. He's knocked out of bounds. At Notre Dame, we feel we can compete and win even this game. We know it's a tough task. We'll see. A lot of time to go still. But so far, a good effort. Crouch in trouble. Denman. So here he goes, second and long again. Second and 11. Crouch on the option. Play action. Trying to find one down the middle. And the quarterback. Oh, they throw the flag on Davidson. That's Williams and Israel. As well as last week. Defense, 15 yards. First one. They sandwiched Davidson. So a break for Nebraska. 
And again, the rush up the middle for themselves. A pitch, a good fake. Newcomb, he is shifty. Oh, well played, though. Shane Walton's they are three for 11 on third down. Again, Crouch will come up tight. Drop back. Go on the screen. Rover throws his man at Alexander, and that doesn't have a chance. Jones is back. Not get through all this time. The Jones might still be tired <laughs> after the last one. Four catching. With a man right in his face. Yeah, and there's a flag. Yes. I'm going to say a try for a strong contact. Five yards no way. First down. And the blip is capturing some nice pictures today on an afternoon day in Notre Dame. Terrence Howard for a few yards. Twin tight ends. Holloway O'Leary on the left side of the Irish line. The play action for battle. He's rolling, looking for the tight end Holloway. Well defended. Playing in the play, though. Maybe too well. Sweeney may have got a right hand. Up. Pass interference. Offense. 15 yards. Same down. Now it's all of a sudden second and 23. We haven't seen too many of these situations in the game. Quarterback draw. Battle back. Thought about the draw. Has some room. Up to the 20. Look at him go. For the 30. And it's battle to midfield. Down to the 40 of Nebraska. They saw it. Good call, Pat. Oh, got a nice, uh, nice day going, 86 yards. The Huskers could have used your thoughts before that play. <laughs> well, I think they probably figured that one out, too. Broke the dead, reverse to the 39, it's Ketherow at the big return. He fell down, running into Mike Gandy. the lineman, Gandy, in 35-yard line. High formation, it's Gibbons in motion. Into the deep back, that's Howard for a few yards, near first down yardage, and one for two on third down, short yardage. Full house backfield behind battle. Is it a Fisher? No, nope, he did not short. get it. He's nope. out about the 30-yard line. Big fourth and what? Battle on the fake. On fourth and one, he's looking to throw. And he throws oh. it incomplete. Oh, Larry, the trickery they tried didn't work. And the defense certainly has played admirably well against this high-powered attack. And up for a couple. But that's 14 carries in the game for Crouch. Second and six. Single back fake. Crouch, he can run. He's going to, no, he's going to take a sack. Robertson, Boyman on the option and usually throws to the tight end. Little shovel pass. Alexander has it, but he again runs in to the Notre Dame defense. Anthony Weaver gets the ball return the touchdown. Jones is on the kickoff, and Jones is going to get another shot of the boomer here. Let's see what he does at the 20. Man right at him. It's Dewan Gross. Big tackle, great uh, coverage by Gross. And that is saying something when you talk about the Cornhusker. Oh, first and 10, 20. Julius Jones, four yards, maybe five yards to the 25. Yeah, he's up for service. <laughs> Second and six, 25 option. Battle got rid of it nicely, Jones. Jones turns the corner, flag is down, got to the 35-yard line. Mm, the holding, he usually looks at the tight ends, yeah. Shotgun formation, and there is some confusion. Battle on the pitch. Shovel pass. Return the favor to Terrence Howard. But he got a few yards. Two for 13 for battle. Just 34 yards passing. May have to do it here. Third and seven. Battle's going to throw it. This one is way overthrown. He was hit as he was blitzed. Uh, maybe rushed him a little bit, however. You can sense the pressure. Oh, nice punt. Here's the punt by Hillbold. It is a good one. Joe Walker, 32. And the flag is called again on the reception as Clifford Jefferson came in and the ball's going to run. Catch interference, five yards. It's only a five-yard penalty. It's not a major issue. Either way, first and 10, 39-yard line. High formation. Alexander over the 40 to about the 42. Inside 240 now on second and six. Alexander again plunging ahead. The Huskers ideally would like to use up that clock. If we're tied at the end of regulation, we'll go to the overtime, of course. Two minutes to go. Third and two. Alexander hit the backfield Den again. Denman. Anthony Denman again. Down. Julius went 100 on the kickoff. Yeah. Jones at the 16-yard line. 
Trying to find some room. Somehow does find some room. But he gets set to the 30-yard line. He's not contested much. They're going to have to move fairly quickly. But they do have two timeouts. Battle. Across the 30. Falls down at about the 34-yard line. As he... Yeah, you, get, you saw a quarterback draw. He's going to have thrown screens. There's some safe stuff you can do in these circumstances. Battle's going to keep. That's fairly safe. Trying to shake and bake. Gets to the 37. He's going to take his chances in OT. Last game for Notre Dame in overtime was November 30th of 96 at USC. They lost 27 to 20. Nebraska won the toss, and I believe they chose to defend first. And this turned out to be a beauty. And Bob Davey would love a home run from Julius Jones right now. First and 10, 25. Jones for about two, maybe three. Well, there's about a 40-yarder right now. They're obviously looking for the six, and they can get the first down as well. Second and nine. Give him just one battle. Oh, it's holding. Tight end got held big time. O'Leary. Now battle moving. Battle's got some room. Left side gets a block. Battle to the 20. There is a flag down inside the 10. Knocked down at the 8-yard line. It's a flag on Nebraska. You got it. Don't forget, Nebraska will get a shot, even if the Irish score. Gibbons was in motion. Jones got a little room, right tackle side. Got to the five. Oh boy. Kaiser brought him down. Lipinski is the fullback. Jones the tailback in the eye formation. Receiver split left and right. Jones gets it up the middle, and he's met quickly by Carlos Polk. He might have gotten a yard. Gibbons in motion. Third and goal. Battle in some trouble. He's caught back at the 11-yard line. Uh, Jerry Selecta had a great preseason to go to the number one job. Yeah, remember how good Nebraska is at kicking, particularly these guys right there. They can 29 yarder left hash. Set it up and good. So Nick Setta with a lot of pressure for a young kicker hits the big one for Notre Dame. Touchdown they win. Field goal will force another series for each team. Crouch. He's on the keeper. Pitching to Alexander. And the Huskers have seen that too in all their long. Shane Walton came up. No gain. Maybe a yard now. Second and nine. 24-yard line. Crouch is going to pass. Green play, throwing, and it's incomplete. He was going for Wilson. Crouch will line up under center. Brings to the right receiver is Thomas to the left. Single setback, Alexander. Crouch back to pass, straight drop back over the middle, complete. Wisdom has got it. Oh, boy. And I believe he has the first down. I think he does, too. First and 10 at the 15-yard line in overtime. Notre Dame scored a field goal, their chance. Hand up, Alexander breaking free of Denman. If Nebraska... Gets the touchdown. Crouch. He has it. Going for the end zone. I haven't touchdown. seen. A, I haven't seen a signal. Have you? I didn't see a signal, but the referees are running off. It is a touchdown, and Nebraska has won the game. Crouch, 16 touchdowns a year ago on option plays. Boy, did he get a good block by Dan Alexander, too. The Nebraska Cornhuskers in overtime and fittingly on the shoulders of their leader, Eric Crouch, with his third rushing touchdown of the game for the second straight week. And this one is a crusher for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish in a sensational finish here at Notre Dame. Well, what's the block by number 38, too? And it, not only the strong run by Crouch, but the, really the last block there by da Dan Alexander allowed Crouch to get in the end zone. The Chevrolet players of the game, Eric Crouch. Surprise, surprise from Nebraska. Julius Jones from Notre Dame. In recognition of their effort, Chevrolet will make a contribution to each school's general scholarship fund. The Chevrolet scholarship program has been a tradition for 30 years. Once again, the final score from Notre Dame Stadium. It's the Nebraska Cornhuskers 27, the Irish 24 in overtime. Coming up tonight on NBC. Don't miss the Brady Bunch movie at 8, 7 Central. And then after that, stick around for the Hispanic Heritage Awards at NBC Special. For Pat Hayes, for Bob Wischusen and the entire crew, Craig Minervini saying so long from South Bend.